Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Pro Tools quick tip, I'll show you how to adjust your loops to match your master tempo within your session. And keep in mind, you could always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas, justin at wingsound.com. First thing you wanna do on your audio track is change it to tick-based ticks. And what ticks will do is basically will keep the audio quantized with whatever time adjustments you make and it also stay with your grid values so next thing you want to do on that audio track is enable elastic audio and choose accordingly to whatever audio you're manipulating the time of so polyphonic for more complex waveforms and complex sounds rhythmic for obviously drums or loops or something like that monophonic for simpler waveforms like basses and things like that and varus speed is kind of hard for you to stay exactly in time it's you know varus speed obviously you know maybe if your track has a little bit of a swing or something you might want to try that so i'm going to choose rhythmic because i'm working with a loop so next thing you want to do is just go over to your time session tempo click on it and make a uh, tempo change so I'm gonna do it drastically to actually let me play this first okay so then go to the tempo change again and I'm gonna do it to 50 and as you can see the audio is stretched out to match that tempo change all right you get the idea there and you can do it with or without the conductor track enabled. So if I disable the conductor track and I go in here and type my change, my tempo change. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.